Hello, and welcome to Recovering from the Storm. I'm Callie Nelson with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today's topic is beware of scams and fraud after disasters. Natural disasters can create opportunities for scams and fraud. When your home has been damaged and your life has turned upside down, it's important to be extra aware when working with people you don't know. Contractors often go door to door in damaged neighborhoods offering cleanup or repair services. While many of these people are honest and reputable, others are not. Dishonest contractors may try to pocket more profit by accepting payments for work, then never completing or even showing up for the job. They may use inferior materials or perform shoddy work that is not up to code. Here are a few suggestions to avoid being scammed. First, be on the lookout for people calling and saying that they are with a national insurance company. Your insurance company will never ask you to pay your insurance deductible up front or over the phone. If you get a phone call about an insurance claim or policy, don't give out any personal information or agree to any payments until you can independently verify that the call is legitimate. If the caller says that they're from your insurance company, hang up and contact your insurance agent or the company directly using the number on your account statement. Second, never let a contractor interpret or discourage you from contacting your insurance company. Third, government disaster agencies like FEMA or the Emergency Management Agency will not call you or send a text asking for your financial information. Remember, you don't have to pay a fee to apply for disaster assistance. Fourth, anyone claiming to be a federal official who asks for money is an imposter. And fifth, approved workers are agents who knock on doors are required to carry official identification and show it upon request. They cannot ask for or accept money. When you hire a contractor, beware people coming door to door. They may make cheap repairs and leave before you discover that the repairs are inadequate. Check your contractor's credentials, including licenses, references, and insurance. Remember to get bids from several contractors and get everything in writing. This includes the cost of the project, the work to be done, time schedules, and the price for labor and materials. Never sign a contract that has not been filled out or have blank spaces. And never, never pay the full contractor bill until the work is completed and inspected. Again, this is Callie Nelson, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to Recovering from the Storm. The Dallas County Extension Office has more information on this topic. Please contact our office at 334-875-3200 or visit us on the web at www.aces.edu. And don't forget, we care about you and want to help you recover.